So let's start with Greg Reby, our 2020 WA PSC Entrepreneur of the Year winner. Greg is a committed and actively engaged member of the ICT community and entrepreneurship space here in Perth. I've known Greg for many years. He uses experience and networks to inspire future leaders in the tech space and provides insights into the transformative opportunities new tech presents. Greg is a mentor, speaker and advisor and a recipient of the 2020 Angel Investor of the Year Award, not just for WA, but for the whole of Australia. So congratulations, Greg, on winning this award. Thank you very much, Charlie. And uh, over to you to say a few words. Um, well, uh, Joe, I'd really just like to thank um, you know the Inside Awards, uh, the PC Foundation, fantastic, um, uh, inspirational person, um, and Lateral is a sort of major sponsor. Um, uh, it's uh, it's pretty humbling actually to be recognised this way. Um, it's great actually being recognised by by your peers, but actually knowing some of the people that have won this before, it's pretty humbling to actually be recognised amongst them. So I'm uh, I'm very gr very grateful. So congratulations again. And can you tell us more about Entrepreneurs and Residents that you set yeah. up, I think, about 20 years ago? Yeah. And what made you start it? Um, it, it sort of kicked off, uh, and it wasn't just me that actually founded the organisation. It was a syndicate of four different organisations at that time. Um, and it was um, uh, very lucky in terms of securing funding from the federal government to invest in IT startups. Right. Um, and so um, actually over time, I did buy the company out, so it became mine because um, I wanted to make sure we sustained its focus and its activities in supporting startups. Um, but our, our remit was to invest in IT startups at that very early stage. Right. We looked at something like 450 to 500 different companies over eight years, invested in 30. So back in the 2000s? Back in the 2000s, we, 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 we sort of felt that we were quite counter-cyclical, just coming together just straight after the tech wreck. Yeah. <laughs> what was the scene like back then? Because Spacecube didn't open, the first co-working space, Angel Groups, didn't really happen until 2012. Mm -hmm. So what was it like back in 2000? Well, um, we were, in fact, actually the first tech incubator. Right. And so we were very much the blind letting the blind speak into the <laughs> tone deaf. Um, and, and we were one of sort of 10 around the country, and, and we really were learning... Um, uh, you know, in the trenches, really, um, uh, because a lot of that, those sort of practices just didn't exist in Australia overall. And you invested in 30 or we so? We invested in 30. Um, and so um, we, we actually, the way we started to invest in those, um, uh, started to recognise that the amount of money that we had um, w was really sort of pulling businesses back from the cliff. Mm -hmm. And so what, we, what I realised pretty quickly is that what we needed to do was to actually get them investment ready and that's sort of very relevant today, um, as it was back then, such that we actually ended up getting co-investment. So we would have invested something like 10 or so million dollars directly, a couple of million dollars indirectly, right. but I managed to actually raise something like about $35 million private and a little bit of grant. Um, um, so probably about 50 million over eight years we raised. And over the 20 years, what's been your highlight or one of your highlights with the companies you invested in? Um, well, actually, it's, it's, it's interesting in that, you know, I've been lucky to actually um, be, uh, and I'm still involved in some of the early investments, um, uh, you know, Calatrix Technologies in the defence sector, Cat Tech in the e-commerce sector. Um, but I think the one that actually, for me, created the biggest impact um, was Perth Angels. Right. Um, so with my co-founders, uh, Jim Tweddle and, and Ray Hart, um, by the way, the Perth Angels, it's 10 years next month. Right. It's our anniversary. Right. Um, and so, you know, back then there was still that sort of, uh, you know, that um, valley of death. There was a lack of early stage investment. So that's why we brought that together. And I think to me, we've been able to get some real impact. Now we've got, today we've got dozens of members investing in dozens of invested um, in, in investment companies. Um, uh, we've been able to actually help the Southwest Angels. So that's now it's down in the Southwest. And very shortly we're about to embark on, um, is actually working with the Mindaroo Foundation their generation um, program to actually set up the first Indigenous Angel Investor Network. Fantastic. A first in Australia. Fantastic. Yeah. And the Perth Angels are also connected to Melbourne Angels, Sydney Angels and yeah. other angel groups so around we, the country. We get, we get to actually network and, and so our remit is to actually increase the private investment community um, and, and the capacity of the community to actually, as you know, startups need fuel. <laughs> Um, they need capital, and um, and so we've just got to grow that capacity in the, in the state to actually just invest in more and more, um, you know, the amazing tech startups that we've got here in WA. Yeah. 
I, I agree, 100%. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any, any disagreement there on my part. Now, it's been an interesting year, isn't it, 2020? Yeah. What advice do you give for startups now as we're coming out of 2020 into 2021 yeah. uh, and these emerging tech businesses that we've got? Yeah. Um, I, I, I think it's really just a, a whole lot more of the same. You know, the, the environment's changed. COVID's caused an impact on that. Um, but, you know, the, the ones that are going to sit down and actually focus on deep real-world problems... Um, uh, you know, and they're able to actually build an end game. They know where they're going and they've got a vision and a purpose to get to the end game. And I think if they get that right, um, and to me, the real definition of an entrepreneur is someone who builds capability. They don't have to be the inventor. They don't have to be the innovator. They need to build a team, a high, you know, they need to build the DNA to make it a success. And I think if they focus on those three things, they'll, they'll get over the hurdles that COVID's introduced to us uh, and they'll get, they'll get funded and they'll get growth. Thanks, Greg. And and many congratulations on the award again and all the best for the new year. Uh, Thank you very much. Thanks.